I'm gonna get slaughtered here, right? Okay, we're gonna accept. Develop the bishop. And prepare for to die. Okay, so already I have no idea what's going on. I did not expect uh, this pawn move because this uh, allows a bishop trade. Um, I don't know whether the bishop trade is favorable or not. I don't know what to do. So I'm just going to block to try to keep things cramped here. And, um, I'm going to push on the fourth column because I hear that that's a strong thing to do. That this pawn is more difficult to defend than other pawns are. Um, So apparently my opponent is building some kind of castle over there. Um, let's move our silver up. I don't know what my opponent is approaching here. Um, So, yeah, obviously if an exchange occurs, um, oh, I'm tempo slow playing my rook to attack, still, um, this threat is to drop a pawn right next to my face. Um, this is the best I can see to oppose that. And I think that if I take the rook... Oh, crap! Wait, no, rook takes there as possible, but... Um, this got really complicated here. I forgot that unlike chess, your pawns are not exceptional defenders. So... Alright, he's got two pawns in hand. I could push my pawn to obstruct the bishop and threaten pawn takes, which would threaten the bishop. In a way, his rook's pinned. Though he's threatening rook takes gold, um, and there's no more pin. Uh, this got really tactical here all of a sudden. So I could obstruct the bishop, and then he'd move the rook away, and then I play pawn takes. Oh, I can't because my pawn's pinned. Unless I've got some mate threat to go with it, and I'm pretty sure I don't. Um, a bishop on the in the center would be a really scary piece to deal with. Um. This is really super ultra sharp, and I'm not sure what's going on. If I push my pawn, my pawn's pinned. And then, although sure, I could follow with pawn takes pawn, get a promoted pawn, and then drop another pawn right in front of it. Um, I mean, it seems that's the alternative. And actually, my bishop's defended, so I shouldn't be terrified of that possibility, but it looks scary. So if I push my pawn, bishop takes, rook takes bishop, pawn takes, bishop takes rook, I've gained a bishop. Um, and if I do bishop takes rook, bishop takes bishop, he's attacking the pawn in front of my king, and attacking my lance, but who cares? Um, but I'm not seeing any entry point on his side of the board because his golds and silvers cover everything. There isn't a hole. Um, I would need to 
drop a pawn favorably somewhere, and I just don't see how to do that. So I'm going to go with this extremely risky idea. Um, so the idea is I get to sack my rook and then take his rook. Now he might interpolate rook takes gold check. I need to respond king takes dragon. Um, a squares. I am a experienced chess player who is playing his fourth game of Shogi. Um, and I'm probably going to get killed by this guy who claims to be a one Don. But there's a chance, however slight, that I might survive this. So um, I'm going to go through with my idea. I really don't like the idea of the, him having a bishop here on an open board. So, I'll see what he has planned. Probably he plays rook takes gold. I do king takes dragon. And now what? I mean, this has got to be favorable, right? I have a rook and a bishop in hand. Um, no idea what I'm doing, but... Um, look at all that stuff I've got in hand. Okay, he's got a rook, gold, and three pawns in hand, of which he can only really place one on this file. It's not like he can place golds anywhere he wants. Um, I just play bishop takes, right? I mean... Do that, then take his lance, and then just start taking everything from right to left. Unless I'm missing something. Uh, I don't know. Shogi's confusing. Also, I'm more than a bit worried about the safety of my king. Um, could place my bishop here. I uh, would defend this, but wouldn't do much else. I just don't see some way to turn my paranoia about king safety into something constructive here. I mean, obviously I want my king to be sheltered somehow. Oh, okay. Okay, now I, I see where we're at. Um... So, this is basically crazy house. You can drop captured pieces on the board. Um, but it's got all kinds of funky pieces. Um, pawns don't defend nearly the way you'd expect them to. Uh... <laughs> Yeah, I think bishop takes here seems to be my best attacking move. I'm just concerned about the possibility of getting checkmated. Also, how in the world is he going to attempt to defend this pawn? Well, if I take it, though, he drops a rook here. Check. Okay. Um... So I should place my rook here if I want to live. Because that attacks his knight, this knight's not easily defended. And even if he does defend the knight, then I could take the center pawn. So this looks strong. Now, I'm concerned that these five pieces will somehow checkmate me. Um, I have ample reason to be concerned about that, because checkmates pop out of nowhere in this game. But I don't see a checkmate. So, If he had another sol silver or gold or something in hand, um, 
then I would be panicking. But yeah, you can just drop it pretty much anywhere. Uh, one restriction is you can't drop a pawn onto a column which already has one of your pawns on it. So, yeah, this is basically a crazy house. So, oh, the other thing is that this is a lance. This is not a rook. So, a lance just goes straight forward. It cannot retreat, it cannot move sideways. This is the silver. Uh, the silver and the gold move as they indicate on this piece, so they can all move forward, uh, forward left, forward right, and forward center. Um, the gold has the ability to move sideways and directly backward. Uh, the silver has the ability to move diagonally backward, so here it's protecting uh, the knight. The knight only moves forward in an L shape, so it can't go like one forward and two to the side. So, all right. So I kind of expected this, um, because that defends his knight. So now, oh yeah, let's sure. Why not? Let's promote. Okay. So, um, yeah, he defended. Now I guess I use my rook. Uh, take another thing. So, the title of my stream is Doubled Pawns Are Bad. Um, and in chess, they would normally be bad. In, uh... Shogi, doubling pawns is an illegal move, and it results in you immediately losing the game. So doubled pawns are bad in Shogi. Um, I think I'm doing okay, though. Okay, so yeah, he plays the predicted move. He's aiming to capture my knight. Um, since the knight could be useful as an attacker. There might be other reasons to take it, too. Um, I can capture back once he's done that capture. Um... Actually, I could return the favor, except then he plays knight forward. Um, I'm just going to take everything. I hope that's okay. Oh, right. I forgot how effective pawn drops can be for defense. Um, but that traps his knight, so I'll take that advantage, I suppose. Oh, if I do that, he just drops another pawn. See if I can encourage him to drop a pawn somewhere else. I don't want to obstruct my bishop, so um, I'm going to avoid putting my rook on the fourth file here. Yeah, we're going to take back, so I got the knight. General is no longer in my position. No, pawns cannot capture diagonally. It's the most disturbing thing ever. They only capture forward. Um, 
Actually, I should have just... No, I can't drop a pawn here, because I have a pawn on the same file. That would be doubled pawns that would lose the game instantly. But if I didn't have doubled pawns, dropping it here would be pretty strong. Um, because then I could promote the pawn right away. And maybe my other piece drops could be strong, I don't know. Uh, also, once my time expires, there's extra time on the clock. Um, we're playing a slow game, so I get a minute added every time, like, every time there's overtime. I get 60 seconds to make a move. Uh, so notice this knight can't go forward either of these ways, so if I just... Oh, I can't drop a pawn here. That's illegal. That'd be doubled pawns again. I've got four pawns in hand, but that's really not helping. Because um, I can only put so many pawns on the board at once. Now he's still holding a rook and a gold and a knight in hand. I don't know what he's waiting for. It's waiting for something, but um, maybe he's just waiting for me to place my bishop before he commits to anything too committal. Also, having the dragon mid-board is kind of weird. I want to get him to commit to dropping a pawn in the center file, so then I can just shift my dragon over here and hit the knight. Uh, I guess that would force him to just use the gold to defend the knight, but... Um, oh, but then I drop a pawn here, so... I can't drop the pawn there, that'd be double pawns. How many times am I going to make that mistake? <laughs> Have I played Osu? No, I've played a similar game. Um, Similar DS game, but I've not played Osu. I'm concerned if I'm still connected. Apparently I am. What's my opponent thinking about? Can't check me there. Check me other places. Like he could drop his bishop here. Check me and then take my silver. Okay. Holy moly. I can just take his rook. Why did he play that move? That makes no sense. Unless he's like forgotten that this. Is a silver? I can't see how sacrificing an entire rook. Uh, yeah, um, okay. Good game. Well, uh, Okay. I won another game. Um, I'm more than a bit embarrassed about this one. Okay. Well... <laughs> uh, let me grab the URL for this game. Uh... But that, yeah, that was clearly a kamikaze move. I, I mean, I just suspect my opponent forgot how the pieces move, because I don't know how else that could be explained. Um, I'm going to post the URL 
in the place I post my other URLs. It's just, just somewhere private. Um, I don't know how best to log these games, but um, this is game number 160320 on this website. So if you ever want to look it up, uh, that's the way to look it up, I guess, is by that number. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um, maybe my opponent was just really aggravated with my slowness. I don't know. I don't understand. I already just forgot how the pieces move. I mean... I'm playing with the Romanized or Internationalized set where um, I can recognize what they are, but perhaps my opponents have more difficulty because they're using a different piece set. Um, in any event, I won the game, so I don't think I did anything too spectacular. That rook placement would have been very strong if I didn't have a piece defending against that very rook placement. Maybe he needed. Maybe he should have put the pawn there instead. And I don't know how ranks work on the site. Uh, apparently, I'm provisionally rated 1500. Is this not a rated game? Yeah, no, I think it's rated. Um. So, yeah. Okay, here comes a new challenger. A Fordon wants to play against me. Sure, let's play a Fordon. There's no way this could go badly. Oh. And, um, yeah, to boot, I get to move second. Okay. Yeah, now this is going to go great. <laughs> uh, assuming I remember how the pieces move. Okay, well, the other game, my opponent played this. He offered a bishop exchange on move one. Um, uh, okay. I don't know whether that will... That advance on the side is strong or not. I'm gonna play, I guess, what's called static rook, where you just leave the rook where it initially stood and just push the pawn. Apparently, this is a thing. Okay, and yeah, the bishop move is to deny me from pushing the pawn any further, which would otherwise be strong. Um, but perhaps I can force a bishop trade. Okay. You can move a silver, I suppose I can move a silver too. Which silver do I want to use to attack? Let's assume it's this one. Okay. Um... Now I'm worried. <laughs> uh, I don't know what to do against that. If I had a pawn in hand, that would be super useful. Because uh, then I could sack a pawn and then drop a pawn here, winning the knight. And then threatening to take the lance, but then his silver takes me. Um, so... Yeah, I don't know what to do. I guess I'll advance my knight and try to run my king to the corner. If you can move your king, I can move my king. Alright. One good favor deserves another. Alright. So, there's violence in the center. Um, I don't know how to resolve any of this. We're going to learn. It's going to hurt. Um, I have to take it, I think. 
So, how do you even begin to resolve this tension? Um, like, I really want to drop a pawn there, but it's not going to work. Like, all his weak points are covered. Is he threatening to drop a pawn in my face? I don't think he is. Suppose I just advance my silver. Actually, this silver could go start confronting his rook. Um, where is his bishop going to move? Whew. Oh, okay, so this is a defensive rook preventing me from advancing my pawns too far. That's the point of the rook. Um, still, I could lift my rook too. There's nothing preventing me from doing a rook lift. Uh, he hits my rook, and I have to move it somewhere. Uh, maybe I don't want to do that. But what's the point of having a rook if you're not going to use it? I suppose he just does bishop there, and I actually do have to... Oh, never mind. Um, so he's opened the line in front of his bishop. Knights cannot go backwards. They're not as threatening in this game as they are in chess. In this game, a knight that's moved forward is pretty much a knight that's gone too far. Um, This is going to prevent bishop takes bishop. I'll also tuck my king away because I don't know what's going on. Um, right, so... He wants to split the center open. It's not exactly what I want to see. Um, oops, let's not hang my silver. <laughs> Hanging silver is not a good thing. Um. <laughs> All his weak points are covered. I don't know why this guy challenged me. So it's pretty clear that I have no idea what I'm doing. And he has at least some concept of what he's up to. I want to play that, but it seems too aggressive. Uh, 
Let's just bring the silver forward a little bit. So that silver was previously defending this knight back here, right? I uh, can't do that, that would hang this pawn. If I had more pieces in hand, I could maybe consider knight up. Knight up immediately seems really dubious. I'm sorry, the knight, his knight would just take if I start doing attacking shenanigans. Um, also, what's going to defend this square back here? Let's open my lance, because I'm not sure what else to do. Okay, he's also expanding his lance's range. Um, that would cut off my rook. I don't want to do that. I suppose I'll oppose rooks, because I don't know what else to try. Uh, let's take some more space. Oh, and this hangs my pawn. My opponent's not looking, though, so it doesn't matter. Also, this is a pretty strong move in its own right. Um, I mean, one I can pretty much only counter with my own silver. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Right, but now I take your silver. Sure, you recapture. Um, the point of this is that I could just place the silver right back here, or I could put my pawn there. Put a pawn somewhere, anyhow. Oh, crap. I've got some weaknesses to deal with. I'm still hanging my center pawn. Okay, this time he sees it. Um, uh, maybe last time he saw it too and there's something subtle I missed. Maybe. Okay, so what do I do? We both got silvers in hand. I want to put my silver here. Um, but then the silver's trapped. I'd have to sack another pawn to try to get it out. We're going to just uh, settle on a policy of raw aggression. No, this isn't a guest account. I think I just don't know how ratings on the site work, but I do find it amazing that I'm playing against a Fordon. Um, yeah, no, he spots the obvious weakness, and then he can fork my golds with his silver. Uh, so I'm losing some material here.
have to do that, I think. Alright, that's check. Um, let's put my silver here. At least the silver covers the back rank. What the hell? What is that move? Okay. I don't know what my opponent's doing. <sighs> I have time to figure these things out, but it's not easy. I don't know why he would sack his bishop. It makes no sense at all to me. And now I just do pawn takes pawn and I have another gold in my hand. Um, I just don't get it. Yeah, so he checks me. But what's the point? I mean, I don't even have to block it. Oh, okay. Wait, no, he doesn't have knight check. So I can safely do this, I think. Like, what's his point? I just don't get it. You don't give up a bishop in this game unless you see something. I mean, this is, I forget, this must, I think is my fifth game of Shogi, but if it's anything like Crazy House, uh, you don't just give stuff up. You have to have a plan. So the other game, Tap was showing me that if the king runs away successfully, uh, it's really hard to checkmate him. I think this is the point where against a 4-don player, I should seriously consider running. Because uh, he's just going to put a pawn there, I take it. I mean, I don't have to run right now, but considering running is something I should consider. Knight's only there so it can threaten this square. I'll take the lance. Sure, we'll take a promote the bishop, so I'm threatening his knight also. Not that that matters. Um, but this gives my king an escape square if he drops the gold back here. Which he won't, because my silver is defending that anyway. Okay, so now my king can just run diagonally if it needs to. Okay, he's sacrificing his gold. Ah, so this moves uh, like a gold, so let's check. So, yeah, he's not going to let my king run. He's not an idiot. 
Um, so I suppose I just let him take the lance. Just because I don't know what I'm doing. So he's got a lance in hand. Meanwhile, I should remember that in Shogi you can place your pieces. I'm just saying that a bit sarcastically here. Um... So, this dragon is threatening to place a piece right here. If he had two knights in hand, he might have me, but... Um, Actually, my bishop covers this. If I really had to sack my bishop to kill something, I could. Um, I know he really wants to place something there. Yeah, who wait, my bishop can take the lance. That would be one hell of a sack. I don't want to do that sack. Although, wait, no, his rook's not subject to a fork. Wait, do I do king takes? King takes looks super ultra risky. No, king takes gets me killed. Unless somehow I can manage to run. Um, now my king's defending both silvers. That's out of the question. Damn, silvers can't protect themselves. Um... So I'll keep telling this um, dragon that he's not welcome here. I think as long as I don't give him a knight, I'm not going to be too surprised by anything he does. Oh, right. So he could do that. Um... Still no fork. Uh, he's not not ever gonna fall for a fork, but um, he does have a silver, and now he's reawakened that threat of silver on what I would call D two. Uh, or renew the threat. I'm guessing that defense in Shogi is not such a useful thing, because it's a very tactical attacking game. Um, oh crap! <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, yeah, he's that's forking all my pieces. All right, we're gonna place the bishop. No, that would lose the bishop. That'd be awful. Not going to do that. 
Um, do this to defend the damn knight. All right, so my knight's defended. I'm gonna be a little tricky and try to get this diagonal open so I can hit the rook. Um, ah, yes, a weakness of gold. All right, well, take my gold. Didn't need the gold anyway, buddy. Check. Now you know I'm a chess player, not a um. Shogi player. <sighs> okay. So. He places his gold. He's got three pawns in hand. Is this guy really four dog? Um, or is he just screwing with me? I, I need to know. Oh, that's okay. So that's a real threat. I can't take it, so I need to make a legal move. I can just imagine how incredulous he is at my ridiculous attempts at defense. Um, so I'm going to cover this square back here. I mean, this has got to look absolutely insane to somebody who plays shogi on a regular basis. Um, yeah, I do software development. Sure. Now there's still a really high chance that I'm just going to accidentally place double pawns and lose the game for doing an illegal move. There's a really, really good chance that I'm going to do that this game. No matter how many times I insist that I'm thinking about it, I'm going to forget. It's... But it does help having a rook in hand, having a general a promoted bishop who's still been kind of slacking off here but um it's useful to have all these pieces in reserve well there's no sense in not using the pieces right so how do I use them? Like, I could sack a lance right where, from where his pawn came from if I really wanted to deflect his stuff. Um, we're just going to use this to try to defend stuff. Have you ever had to plan a piece of software out? As in the way it's programmed so other people can extend it. I think the answer is yes, I think. I'm not entirely sure. All right, so my general moves toward his king. Also lets my rook get into the game. I should just move my rook down, and now I could place a pawn here if I had a pawn to place. Um,
I'm going to assume that a lance is enough to s defend this sort of thing. Um, I don't know whether a lance or the knight. I think the lance is worth less than a knight. Um, at any rate, I know how lances move, and it's a lot more predictable than how knights move. What's defending that? What's defending that is this threat of promoting stuff on my side of the board if I take that. These lances don't move backward. Um... But yeah, I should just use the Rook to uh, stave off some of this nonsense. I think I'm doing okay. So this is my point, is that I'm just going to threaten to take his silver. Is he going to really leave his pieces where they're at? I don't know. Alright, so he's threatening to get another general on my side of the board, but I'm not scared. Can I sack? I don't need to sack. Maybe I do. Oh! Double pawns! I called it! <laughs> oh, that was a good game. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I called it. I got distracted looking at the chat window. Okay, but, um, uh, yeah, okay. All right, so how do you do it zero dot zero? What does the piece at four four do? Uh, 4-4. Four, four. This is a gold. This moves forward diagonally, forward just straight, or sideways, or backward one. So this is like the third strongest piece in the game. The two strongest being the bishop and the rook. Oh. Doubled pawns are bad. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to save this um, game for my collection, <laughs> just because, one second while I um, cash that away. Uh... Oh, I was doing so good too, I think. Either that or... I don't even know. I need somebody who knows Shogi to commentate and say like just how good or bad that was. Um, huh. Oh, I'm sorry. The thing after the question mark is 160320, which is the date, not the game number. I don't know the game number. I don't know how to share this, but yeah, no. For sure, I'm going to make an illegal move before I lose on time. Oh, did you look at that? I've been granted a rank of one, Don. How... Wait, how did I get a rank of one, Don? 
Because I started at 9Q, 9KYU there. Um, so there's 9Q, 8Q, 7Q, 6Q, 5Q, 4Q, 3Q, 2Q, and 1Q. And then there's one Don. Um, so one Don is like the first master level something or other. Now there's professional rankings and amateur rankings, but um, just consider that like one Don for Shogi is something kind of sort of like expert. Um, oh, my rating is at the bottom of my one Don rank. I might lose my one Don rank if I lose the next game. Okay. Uh, so. Okay, that was exciting. Um, <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know what my rating is. Wait, no, I'm sorry, I'm so confused. So confused. Where'd my name go? I'm not a one Don, there's no way. It's just the highlighted row in the table had the name Dan in it, and... No, okay, yeah, I am. I'm a one Don. Okay. I don't believe that at all. Yeah. Sure, let's seek a game and just see how quickly I could lose my one Don ranking. I didn't do too badly, because I did... I think I managed to get both bishops and both rooks. Uh, which I think is supposed to be a good thing in Shogi. Like, so there's handicaps you can play in Shogi. One of the handicaps that's recommended is um, just not playing with the rook or bishop. What I had was a step better than that, which was not only did my opponent not have a rook and not have a bishop, I had both rooks and I had both bishops, I think. Squares Gaming. Hey, okay. I've got my challenge out here. You're more than welcome to take it. Uh, a 7Q. Sure. Oh, look, I get to move first. All right, my bishop's developed. I'm oh, sorry, I forgot. You're supposed to be polite and say hi and stuff before you move. I was so excited. Um, so, so excited about its potential of moving first. Uh, okay, so he defends. Good move. Good to not just let me run you over. Um, I'm going to use my silver, get my king out of here, take one of those, kick his... Oh, crap! <laughs> okay, I'm losing already, guys, against a 7Q beginner. Um, whatever. We'll use this to try to defend against tactics. Um, man, if I had a discovery against that bishop, that'd be awesome. Well, the bishop's defended, so what am I saying? All right, we're going to continue the attack. My attack may be rebuffed, but that doesn't prevent me from trying. So he's taken this rank, so I'm going to take the other center rank. And gosh darn it, this game I will really make an effort to not double my pawns. Um, uh, it's going to happen though. Somehow, someday, somewhere. I just can't avoid doing it. 
All right, we're going to expose my lance, I guess, because why not use the lance? Um, All right, let's exchange lances as we exchange glances. Oh, he hesitates for a moment. Yeah, he wants to get in a move knight to one of these squares and hit my rook first. Or second. I don't know. Oh, lances only move forward again, so... Okay, the lance hits my rook. I, oh crap, the lance is defended though, so he's getting my knight. And I can't move my rook to the center square because that would hang the rook. Um, So I'll do the best I can, but I just dropped a knight. Which means my king is about to be chicken. Um, oh! Wait, he's kicking my rook again. I was going to say that gives me time to get out of this mess, but it really doesn't. That's really aggressive on his part, though. Alright, so if he hits me with this other pawn, though, I can go back and hit his rook. Um, okay, we're going to bet it all on just sheer aggression, because I'm losing my knight. Um, this side of the board is completely lost. So unless I take on a policy which allows me to just drop all my pieces with reckless abandon, um, doesn't look like positive things can come of this. Um, I was intending to do pawn here, which is not legal. Um, This is legal. It even doesn't lose something. Um, Alright, so now he's got a general that's moving around, threatening stuff. Um, my bishop is undefended. I'm going to defend my bishop and then start attacking again. Got another general down there. Um, I attack. You can't scare me. I have no sensibilities of what I should be frightened of. So. Alright, he's threatening knight takes silver. I'm just going to promote. Okay, that's check. I can't exactly ignore it. That's not check. Yeah, this is check. Okay, so he runs. Now, do I have anything here? Since I've got his king's attention, somehow. He's threatening pawn takes bishop, which is pretty scary. Uh, 
My bishop has very few squares to run to, but it does have one. But if he, like, places a piece... Well, he doesn't have a gold to place there. Could place a silver there, and I could ignore it temporarily, which doesn't sound very wise. But if I take this... Um... He's eventually going to try to drop a rook and attack me somehow. Alright, bring it. Show me what you got. Got a pawn. Got another pawn. Um, okay. And if I could run away, it's for naught. Um, so here's the part where I have to calculate accurately. Or a couple moves ago, but it's too late for that now. Um, still don't see his threat. He might be threatening rook here, forking king and bishop, to which I block with my rook. And then he takes my bishop, I do rook takes, he takes my knight. Um, I don't know. But yeah, if I run away, I think I get mated. So I can't run. At least not backward. Running forward is an option. Okay, so I cannot take this piece. Stay away from the lance, right? That lance looks scary. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me turn off noise gate. I didn't realize it would be that annoying. Where's noise gate? Okay, so that turns off noise gate. So there's just going to be persistent white noise in the background. I think that's less distracting. So he did silver takes my general or my pawn. Um, damn it, I was going to drop pawn here. Oh man, I'm so bad at this. <laughs> so. Um, I don't want to give him extra pieces, but in a way I want to draw the silver forward and give me time to attack. Um, Oh wait, the silver is a really good defensive piece up here. So I'll keep the silver away. I don't know why he would do that.
He's threatening some kind of sacrifice. There's no way he's going to play Rook Takes Knight. Unless I'm already completely toast. But I don't think that's the case. And then I could follow with uh, Rook Drop here and then check in with the Knight. Or at least make a threat of doing so. So I'm threatening to take a Silver. Um, Sure, he's got these two generals over here, but neither one of them could move toward my army. Um, maybe someday. Yeah, maybe someday I'll do Go. Go looks a lot harder. Oh wait, if I check, if I put the rook there, he just puts a pawn in the way. That's what that last pawn in hand is there for. Although I still have my knight check winning the rook, so it's not terrible for me. It just means that my rook won't be on an open file. Um, but yeah, if he moves the silver way, I've got the rook here. He kind of has to move his king or something so my knight doesn't check him. Although once his king moves, my rook's kind of weirdly placed. Um, I don't know why he's considering that. Like, why would you push this pawn? I'm gonna take your silver, buddy. Also, if I didn't have this pawn on the file... Okay, so he does do silver takes. Um, he's got two pawns in hand. As far as I'm looking at it, yeah, I'm in check, but this looks like a free piece. I mean, what's he going to do? Now I could start placing silvers and stuff up toward his army. Actually, silver here would be kind of fun. Um, it's not devastating, but... Because he could move his gold sideways, and then my silver is kind of busted there. If do silver in the corner, he'd have to move his bishop. Um, could sack my pawn, bishop takes, and then place my silver, hitting his knight. The knight would just run. Um... I'd have so many more effective threats if, um, well, a lot of things were different. I still have this knight check. But the king runs. I could put the silver there, king takes it, check with the rook. I don't know. This looks powerful, though I'm not sure why. Oh, king can take it. Kings move diagonally. Um, need some point in where I'm able to invade. Such a thing appears very difficult to come by. I'll keep his 
lance away if I can. But he's really intending to just move his knight out. Yeah. Um, this weakens this square. There's only so many places I can put my pawns. Um, no, that traps my rook. I'm gonna try. That's an illegal move. <laughs> I'm so good. I'm so good. Uh. Uh. All right. Uh. Well. Yeah. Uh, so much for a one dot ranking, huh? I didn't think that was going to last, um, but okay, so I managed to survive a pretty savage attack and just blew it with this ridiculously stupid pawn move, but I don't think I was doing well here. I'm pretty sure I am busted in some regard. So uh, I'm now back to 1Q, no longer 1 Don. Okay. Uh, all right, let's see if I can find you in the list. Sort this by name. Are you on the list? Oh, okay. Sure, we could play a game. Why not? Sure, okay. Hey, I get to go first. Perfect. All right. Yeah, it's this game's brutal, man. All right, so I'm just gonna push my pawn. It's so crude, and yet I love it. So, go pawn, go. You can do it. Also, I think I've been overestimating um, the value of this defense. Think I just take here? Sure, promote, why not? Alright, so I won a silver. Woo! My life stream has been accomplished. But actually, this isn't so bad for my rook. Oh, I should also say hi. Yeah, I hit the hi button a little late there. But, um, okay. Uh, OK. 
Okay, we'll take a dragon. Hi. <laughs> uh, now, if Spinal Tap were here, he'd be able to tell us a thing or two about what happened. Um, yeah. Next time. I hope my stream is still up, right? Yeah, no, I'm still up. Oh, hi, oh. Ah, so now he's going to try the same thing I tried against him. But my bishop has a flight square. Good pawn. Let's go. Okay, so he's forming a castle around where all my pieces are attacking. Hmm. I'm going to see if I can make him just a little bit nervous about doing that. <laughs> it's working fine. Yep. Well, the fun thing is, I don't have much more idea what's going on here than you do. So, anything could happen. Like, I assume I could play this, right? I assume this is fine. I guess it costs me a move to play it, but okay. Here we go. No, no, I, I think this is balanced, right? I mean, I know shit about this game, but... Um,
Hmm. Hey, welcome. Yep, Swish. Sorry about the intermission there. I was just getting my lunch ready. Got good old leftovers. Okay, now I'm winning. Just see how many promoted pieces I can get. Also the fact that knights can't move backwards completely weirds me out. Like, I'll reject maybe a tenth of the things I look at because I keep assuming that a knight moves backwards. And it totally doesn't. to do with the bishop. Yeah, that's no, just incredibly weird. to do with bishops. Is that the best way? Yeah, it is. Hmm. Alright. I activate my bishop. You have activated my trap card. Yeah, knights don't go like the two and one to the side. They just go forward two and one. Pieces that of which the icon doesn't display where it goes are magic to me. Oh, um, yeah, no, I would recommend looking at Wikipedia. Wikipedia is what I was watching or reading yesterday while watching Zug Addict's uh, Take a Go. Yeah, it's Shogi. Um, Wikipedia does pretty well explain how the pieces move. It does take a couple passes through the page to understand the rules, but um, I think it's pretty comprehensive.
I'm tempted to drop bishop at 5-9 or 9-5 or whatever that square is. Oh, but then gold takes. I forgot. Um, this limits his king movement a little bit. Got my cursor at the ready. Yeah, definitely check out Wikipedia and get a sense of how the pieces move, though. move confuses me for more than one reason. Yeah, no, it, it's fine if this game um, you might not win, but after the game, do take a look. Yeah, for sure, Shogi, sounds like a very interesting game. Incidentally, that's the move that made me hesitate the most um, before I made my move. Because I still don't know what I'm supposed to do against gold takes. This is really confusing to me. I feel like somehow this shouldn't be so confusing, but it just is. Yeah, the problem is I don't have any pawns in hand, so I can't double my pawns. Like, I'd have to take a pawn first to make an illegal move.
Hmm. Yep, that looks safe. Just bring the gold forward this way, right? <laughs> There's no way this could go wrong. This has got to be the easiest shogi problem in the world, and I am just flailing trying to figure it out. I just don't get it. Yeah, my gold looks pretty dead. I'm not saying it is dead, but it looks pretty dead. And I'm just having a really hard time coming to terms with that. And the other part is maybe I can get something for deading it. Um... If I had more pieces, that would make this so much easier. Uh, but I'm just confused. Well, I'm going to develop one way or another. We're betting it on that bishop move. I'm not sure why. Um, but I'm really attached to that gold and don't want to see it just go for nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's all thanks to the amazing, amazing shogi skills. I totally induced that move and did not mention that I saw it coming. But yeah, that was, wasn't was my only plan. Obviously I was trying to bail out the gold and hoping that this gold would just move out of the way and somehow I'd checkmate, but okay. Yeah, I think that's how they say FML in Japanese. Um. <laughs> Okay. Well, I mean, if you're up for it, we could try another. I don't know, like... How about what move? This is another equal game. I'm not sure where you are looking. Oh, I'm sorry, we're looking at the same board, I think. But what was the... No, I'm... I'm not seeing whatever it is that you're suggesting. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, you could play another game, sure. Where's the button to rematch? 
All right, I go first. Super Bishop is on the loose. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, I see. Um, now, allegedly, I'm not supposed to just trade off right away because it's a pretty equal position if I do. So, allegedly, I think I'm supposed to just, like, either ignore the bishop trade or just try to develop my rook or something. Um... I don't think I can see when you hover over things, but I think I can see when you click them. I don't think hovering is indicated. At least I hope not. I don't think hovering is indicated. Let's go silver, let's go. Let's go silver, let's go. Let's go silver, let's go. Okay. That's my song that I sing when I develop my silvers. Oh. Shoot, I can't just push. I need a plan now. Damn it. Um, okay. Um, here, that's a plan. It's not a good plan. It's a plan. Huh. Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. Tactics. Tactics are fun. Um. Wait. Uh. Okay. Remembering how pawns move is tricky. I'm totally about those pawn moves. In some way, it'd be fun to write a book, one, my 1001 favorite pawn captures, or my 60 most memorable pawn captures. Um, but it would actually make sense in Shogi that you could have pawn captures that are memorable. Unlike chess where the pawn is kind of an afterthought. All right. 420. I'll click the button. I've already clicked the button. Oh, can I do arrows on here? There's a button that says clear arrows, so there should be some... Okay, we don't right-click to do arrows. We don't left-click to do arrows either. I don't get it. There must be some way with this interface to do an arrow. In which case, I would arrow that my rook is defending my pawn. Um, But yeah, now that I have a pawn in hand, I can go forth with my strategy of doubling my pawns.
some may say it's a dubious strategy. Um, it is worth noting that the double pawns thing only applies to unpromoted pawns, so... Um, in the unlikely event that I do get a promoted pawn on a file and I want to drop an unpromoted pawn in front of it, um, that is legal, I think. All right, so the gold is moving forward. To what end, I do not know. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't know. Is there a take back button? I don't think so. Yeah, no, that, I mean... Oh, and shoot, this knight can't even move. Wait, is this some kind of psychology trap thing? There, I drop a pawn there, then he moves his gold over and laughs at me for doing something stupid? Um, I'm curious. It's exactly what it is, right? Um, psychology. <laughs> but the thing is, my shogi skills are so bad that I don't know. Like, I mean, this looks looks super painful for uh, my opponent, but I don't see a checkmate. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. This looks safe. I found a safe move. <laughs> Those previous two games were just to get into my head. He's actually like a 9 don shogi player. He's just hiding his true skill so that no one will ever discover that he's good at shogi. That's the plan. Nine thousand one don. Ah, nine don is not good enough. Well, uh, this looks ridiculous. But if I put a pawn there, oh wait, this gold does not attack diagonally. That's not how golds move. Oh, so getting to the first rank is like super ultra mega strong in this game. Um, did not know that until just now. <laughs> that Japanese was not Google translated or anything. Well, that's good to hear. We wouldn't want any Google translated Japanese, because who knows. All right, so he's got a pawn in hand. I should just be terrified about that pawn. Should let it prevent me from doing any and all rational activity. Rational things like using a knife to try to win a bishop. No, but honestly, I think the bishop's trapped. Don't translate it back. It's my battle cry. Okay. I won't translate it back. <laughs> yeah, the double pawn technique is pretty strong. It ends the suffering faster than most moves. But yeah, I have truly mastered the art of using my rook. Okay, well... Unless I see a checkmate, which I don't, um, I'm going to have to go about the crude way of playing this, which is just take all the pieces, check! Hmm. 
Maybe one day I will understand how to checkmate an opponent. Today's not that day, unfortunately, for the opponent. Um, but you should have seen it yesterday, my third game of Shogi. I actually checkmated an opponent. Like, not getting a resignation or anything, but, like, forced mate. It was beautiful. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I could take the gold, but I might have better. This is where I'm thinking at the moment. Um, it was amazing, especially because I didn't realize it was checkmate. Until, like, the move right before I played it. Must I take the gold? Oh. So this is where that proverb about a chasing king... Uh, if you keep checking the king, you'll always be giving chase. Um... Yeah, no, I just... I need the gold. I don't know how to checkmate without the gold. So... I'm just gonna grab it. It looks free. Oh. Huh. Food for thought, eh. Hey. Yeah, I might want to be more careful about chasing this. Um, yeah, there is one angle I hadn't considered too deeply, although I'm probably covered there too, because just, um, all right, I'm under attack, whatever shall I do? Oh, can I go here? If I go there... I don't even need that, though. I'm just gonna go after the king. But I think vacating the A1 square. Mm. Yep. Rip spear, lance thing. Um, can I see your thinking? I can see what you're typing. I'm not sure what you're thinking, but I can definitely see what you're typing. Um, he's thinking he's going to give me such a preponderance of good moves that I won't be able to find or select one. He might be right. See, see what I'm thinking. That's the real question. I'm 
trying to weave a mating net in a game that you're not familiar with is kind of challenging. Um, okay. He's mind reading me like crazy. Great. Yeah, just keep doing that. Uh, I'm sure that that's going to work great. Alright, so I'll take uh, another gold. <clears throat> oh, wait, no, that's my pawn there. <laughs> he already thought I would do that. Yep, he's on to me. He's totally on to me. Just gonna unleash the master plan. Oh. Well, if, if you'd, by chance, if you know what my next move is, could you please tell me, because I'm really confused. I could use all the help I could get here. I'm gonna take his pawn. Uh, I guess. Yeah, the exit button's an option as well. Um, wait, where were we last turn? I don't even remember. Uh, we're gonna spearhead this campaign with a spear. Seven one. Seven there? No, that's not legal. Seven one. This one? I don't know. I guess he's probably meaning this. Oh! Okay. Yeah! Alright. I might have some chance of winning this. I do find it funny that there is a guest connected watching this. Oh! Double pawns! A brilliant move. Alright. Uh. GG? Okay. Chose my pawn, and I hovered it above every place it could double pawn. Ah! Brilliant! Yeah, the double pawn strategy, unfortunately, is not recognized by the site. Double pawns would be so strong if they were actually legal. Uh, Alright, so... We're going to um, seek a game. You have a chance of rank promotion. Um, just have to beat somebody who's got a fixed rating higher than mine, and I will go up to one don. You know, because that's easy. 
a rating higher than mine minus 200. And they have to have a fixed rating. Gotta say, it was. <laughs> you won, man. Way to go. Jeez, this game is complicated. Has anybody else noticed that, or is it just me? It's probably just me. So. Somehow I've made it to the rank of 1Q by losing to a Fordon who challenged me. I don't know how I got advanced all the way from 9Q to 1Don just from a single game against a Fordon. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Enema. Yeah, that, that's pleasant. Sure. So, um, are, do I have any challengers? I should probably just accept somebody else's challenge down here. Instead of waiting forever for somebody to just challenge the 1500 rated 1Q. Because that, a 1500 rated 1Q is kind of an oxymoron. Um... Also, I don't want to play against somebody with the name Bot in their name, if that's okay. Ah, a 1Q. Sure, why not? Let's play a game. Ah, I don't get to go first. Lame. Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm supposed to hit the high button. Hi! Alright, so apparently this is legal. Alright, so that's the standard reply. I still don't know why, but... Um, I'm going to put my rook on that file and hope something magical happens. Because apparently this is what you're supposed to do. Okay. And now I admit I have no idea what I'm doing. But I got this far and it looked really convincing. Um... But yeah, now I'm just terribly confused. Um, here, let's try making a castle. I think that's a thing in this game. So I lift my lance so I could stick my king behind it. Um, So we're going to move the gold over this away in the hopes of defending stuff. Oh, we got a link here. A drawing of Yoshi. Yeah, nice Yoshi, man. Nice, nice Yoshi. Uh, okay. Oh, well, that's cool. One last person to worry about. I know, right? I hate it when all people want to do is just draw pictures of Yoshi, and that's all you ever get. And note, that's why I do have Nightbot monitoring the channel. Because you never know what Yoshi's going to look like. Yeah. I mean, that's what Nightbot's there for. It's to protect you against the Yoshi. Have I adequately confused my opponent? I hope so, because I have no idea what I'm doing. Um, so if he also has no idea, then we might be on even ground. But I think he knows he's just going to push that center thing. 
Um, uh, um, go night go. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get so massacred for what I played. So so massacred. Meet my pawn wall. The literally the least ambitious way that you could play shogi is just leave all your pawns on the rank. Don't move anything forward. And pray to God that he doesn't find anything that crushes you. Um, so. Uh, well, it's Japan, you know. Japan has lots of cultural events, philosophies, whatever. Um, no, I seriously confused him, though. Like, he could drop his pawn here, and we could do a fourfold repetition, but... Um, I don't think that was his intent in playing this opening. Um, well, as long as I got the time, sure. Just tuck the king away. Let's get my other knight out. Oh! Crap, I forgot. That's how that piece moves. Ah, peace movement! My eternal enemy. Um... Well, knights cannot retreat, so... This is more than a bit awkward. Here, let's just attack. There's no way this could go badly. But no, I find in practice I do best um, with just sheer aggression, because I confuse my opponents with my bad moves. Hopefully my opponent is not going to see the obvious tactic. Well, obvious to a chess player, anyhow. So shogi player, I don't know what's obvious. I don't think I hit... No, I have not... I don't have tabletop simulator. I was pondering that over and over. Um, I keep waiting for it to be on sale, and I'm never satisfied with the sales they offer. Well, I think I sack, right? I mean, if there's ever a moment to sack, it's got to be this one. Uh, I don't want to give up my bishop, though. I mean, I have only the bishop in hand. It's not like my position's completely dire. Uh, it's just that my attack is... Abysmally. Oh wait, no. If I sack the bishop here, it's not like he's. Uh, yeah, no. My calculation was flawed for move one. Um, again, due to peace movement.
Here, let's expand the scope of my rook. There's no way this will ever backfire. Yeah, these golds cover the whole back rank. It's really effective. Another way to put it is that he hasn't had to move his knights, golds, or lances this game, and he's still got a decent attack going. <laughs> okay, yeah, we could arrange a rematch. A rematch would be less painful for me than what's happening now. Oh, if I could get a piece to the second rank, then I would be very strongly invading. But I can't get a piece there, but that's the weak spot. Um, is that once the seventh rank is infiltrated, all the shit hits the fan. Um, okay. Oh, he's intending bishop takes pawn. Well, two can play that game. So I've defended my pawn. He's probably going to kick my bishop. Uh, I take his lance, he takes my lance, whatever. Um, Alright, so he's not intending to go after my lance. So I can just use it to defend the pawn. And his bishop's sitting here, threatening to take this, but not really. I might have trapped his bishop. I say with the question mark. Also, he's placed as many pawns as he can place at this point. There's no room to place any more. I predict he's probably just going to move his middle pawn. <laughs> Double pawns all the way. Dude, that's my signature move. Don't be taking it. Oh crap, I forgot it promotes. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, that's no good. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I've trapped my rook. Either that or I'm losing a silver knight and lance. I might just let the rook go at that point. Um, well, that was unanticipated by me. And very much wrongly so. Uh, that's not good. So... What do I do now? You know, other than resign. Because resigning here might actually make some sense, but it's not completely over. 
It's just, this is going to get way more painful if I lose the rook, actually. Oh. Um, but my rook's already lost. Fudge. It's really strong. Well, here we go. Sure, let's promote. Why not? Oh, double pawns. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. Dude, I told you. It's my signature move. Uh, no, um, I could have moved my knight forward, but my rook was hanging, and I don't know. Like, I had already lost multiple pawns this game. My rook was trapped. We're probably talking about something earlier. I should have... I don't know, I was really frustrated with that game, just because I dropped so many things. And I don't think any miracle tactic could have saved me from that. Um... But yeah, double pawns for the win.